In this Adobe After Effects tutorial, we'll be learning to add peak and slide animation in a very simple way. So, I click on this new composition and name the composition peak and slide. 1920 by 1080 resolution is fine with a duration of 15 seconds and I'll hit OK. The next thing is to add a background. To do that, I'll click on layer and from new, I'll click on solid and name this background and I'll hit OK. The next thing is to add a text layer. To do that, I'll click on this T button here so that I'll enable the type tool and I'll type in some random text. I'll simply say P and slide. Now we would like to animate this in such a way that it is being hidden by an object in the foreground. Let us first create a shape layer on the foreground. To do that, make sure you select nothing here and click on this rectangle tool and I'll create a shape something like this. All right. Make sure you set the fill to solid color. This can be any color because anyway we are going to hide it. Now I'll animate the text layer by expanding this layer and from transform you can see that we have a position property. Make sure you are at the first frame. Click on this timer button here so that a keyframe is created at this point. I'll move the text layer in such a way that it is hidden behind the shape layer and I'll move half second forward and move the y axis value in such a way that our text layer is being shown now. If I start playing this you can see that this is how the animation is happening. And the next thing is to hide the shape layer and also ensure that the text is not visible behind this. To do that, I'll select my text layer and now you can see that we have an option of track mat. If you don't find this options here, make sure you right click on the timeline and from columns ensure that the modes is checked. All right. Once you do that, you can see that we'll have this option and I'll simply click alpha inverted mat for the shape layer. If I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the animation is happening. And that is what we need. Adobe After Effects is all about creativity. So you can use this technique to generate a nice animation for your project. I hope you found this video helpful. And if that's the case, give us a thumbs up and see you guys next time with another tutorial.